The Texas Vietnam Veterans Against War held a press conference in Arlington this afternoon. This is the same group that's held five such protests across the nation. Perhaps the one that received the most publicity was Operation Dewey Canyon 3 in Washington last April. In Arlington, they came to announce that the Dallas-Fort Worth area would be the subject of what they call a search and seizure operation. They being Randy Floyd, an ex-Marine captain and a pilot. He now lives in Austin. Terry DuBose, ex-First Lieutenant U.S. Army. He too lives in Austin. And James Buck, who was a first lieutenant and platoon leader in the Army in Vietnam. He goes to school in Arlington. Texas Vietnam Veterans Against the War will declare the Fort Worth Dallas area a free fire zone beginning at 0600 hours Friday, 4 September 1971. The company of 150 veterans will report in Friday evening to the initial staging area for primary briefings. We will convoy by vehicle to the assembly point in Trinity Park, Fort Worth on Saturday morning. The company will cross the line of departure at 0800 hours and in the free fire zone all unfamiliar individuals will be considered hostile. At 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon we will proceed east on Highway 80 into Arlington and by 5.30 Saturday afternoon arrive at Randall Mill Park for guerrilla theater action. Mr. Floyd, you mentioned search and seizure operations against certain federal buildings and federal bases. What does that mean? Well, it's not actually going to be a search and seizure against the buildings themselves. The search and seizure and, and search and destroy is uh, the tag we put onto most of the guerrilla theater operations we're going to do. And these operations will be planned and executed by uh, the troops and uh, civilian actors uh, who are working with us. These are to show primarily the type of tactics used against the Vietnamese people in Vietnam. Does it mean the blocking of access to the buildings? No, it doesn't. So how many members do you have in, in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington area now, and how many will take part in the demonstration? We have approximately 150 in this area now, and there'll be about 45 out of this area who will be with us. I think, uh, oh, yeah. by and large, the people in this area of the country uh, have no concept of what war is. Okay, we're trying to bring a concept other than a, than a plastic uh, television concept, something they watch for entertainment almost on the news, bring it down and make it real to them. Make them realize that people, real people, are being tortured and killed every day in Vietnam. And basically just to make it real, that's all. 